Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cartier. You on Cartier World today? We got another reaction video, bro. I need y'all to like, comment, sub up, man. Like, comment, sub. Turn on them post notifications, man. I see y'all. I love y'all. Y'all been doing y'all thing, man. Keep running it up. Them numbers gotta go up, man. We need five thousand subs. Can we get to that? You know, today. We got the infamous Whack 100. Goes off on Meek Mill for snitching on academics. Sheesh. Now, knowing Whack, this could be all troll edition. This could be clickbait. I do. I am familiar with academics claiming that Meek Mill called the police to his house while he was on live stream. That's what academics claim. Do we have real hard proof of this? No. But... If y'all don't know, Wack and Meek Mill, they kind of got they been having a back and forth for a while. Like, shit, since 2020, 2021, uh, Wack 100, he, he uh, you know, Meek Mill said Wack 100 was some type of gang leader. He was trying to control gangs and sway people to do wrong things. And then Meek, then Wack got at Meek talking about you don't sell uh, tickets and, you know, you had to cancel your world tour because you didn't sell enough tickets, and he just kind of been on that nigga head, and they just been having petty back and forth. But let's see what Wack got to say today. Lawsuit with Diddy. What has this brought to the fold that we didn't know about beforehand? Because I noticed you're starting a fund or some sort of like hotline for his victims to contact you. Well, mm. Puffy did it. <laughs> You know, go to Wack 100's Instagram. It's to post a picture of Puffy, mm -hmm. and we want to know what Puffy did. Fuck it, make it up. They making up shit. Now, do I think Puffy's into some freaky deaky shit? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his thing, right? <laughs> he said that nigga's a freak. If we just be in a hundred, he's a freak. See, yeah, man, Wack is a antagonist. Uh, an antagonist. He the type of nigga to be contacting your enemies, trying to get dirt on you, giving them a platform, just picking at you to really piss you off. Petty dude. The question is how freaky. But this dude saying, Puffy passed me on to Cuba Gooden Jr. This dude mm. saying, Puffy grope, uh, he groped me, grabbed my ass, grabbed my nuts. I'm hearing all this <laughs> shit, right? And I'm not saying that this shit didn't happen. But here's the problem. He's saying he's only exposing these things because he didn't get paid for his work. Mm. So if you would have got paid for your work, it went back? Yeah. So you're... Yeah, he was on that freaky shit. He probably... was. He, he, you know what I'm saying? And that don't make it right, but he probably freaky like that with Diddy. But this is... You know, he getting at him because he want his money. And that don't make what Diddy doing consensual or still not illegal. Like, that shit... You still can't be doing that in a business relationship. We because you was offended or you're suing because you just want your money for work. Now, Puff, you got to start paying the people you owe. And I think what happened <laughs> was Puff verbally told him an amount, right? And when the album dropped and didn't do so well, only did 23000 first week. Right, so. Right? I think at that point in time, Puffy kind of took that out on him and probably various people. And just throwing some crumbs. Mm -hmm. Now, what he went wrong is he should have had his shit contracted before he went to work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Big when facts. When you're a producer and you're dealing with a mega star, it could be hard to get the paperwork done. It could be hard to get that done. You kind of like rolling the dice on the motherfucker, like not fucking with you. Every so producer basically like takes their lumps business wise in order to just get into the position to even be involved with these records in the first you place. Understand it. You understand That's it. very true. I ain't never really heard of nobody just outright contracted. They just working, working. You get that lump sum. It's like a. You know, it's a risky business. You know, you got to have good good faith and good business with these people because a lot of people do get screwed over. And it's not common to be contracted before you even know for sure, for sure, your track don't even make it. And you know what? To him, he thought this was going to be his, his thing. It was some big names. It's Puffy album, the Love album. All these names on there, these hell out of names, these A-list or B-list artists. He say he produced nine songs, mm. and boom, shit come out and do 23,000. <laughs> so I guess my question for both of you, 
Do you really believe that Puff Daddy and Meek Mill were getting gay? No. Mm. Meek Mill. Hey, that's a good question. But before we get on this, uh, good point is, hold on, I, I went to the end. But yeah, good question. Do y'all think Meek and Diddy was on that? You know what I mean? They zesty with it. And Usher name was redacted from that. But then it describes him as a Philadelphia rapper who was dating Nicki Minaj. That's Not that Meek many Mill. people Look, fit that criteria. Listen, this is the producer saying these things. Right. Mm. Now, let's just say Meek's into this shit. I don't even fuck with Meek, but I ain't gonna put that on him. For okay. a couple days now, Meek has been declaring his on. heterosexuality on. on Twitter in Hold ways on. I've Let never seen anybody something. fight back like this. Let me this. ask you something. Yes. Let's just say Meek is into the funny bunny business, right? Do you think he's gonna do it in front of motherfucking Little Rod, the no-name producer? <laughs> okay. Good That's point. My point. He would do be a think, more discreet gay. Wait, wait. Do you think Usher... Or do something in front of Lil Rod, the no name producer. But I mean, when you're horny. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Nah, He's um, talking. He's saying, Adam, you tripping, bro. <laughs> you on that white man shit. You, you a porn star. Remember that. We, you know what I'm saying? That ain't how we getting down. We don't rock like that, homie. Yeah, he they probably in private, but who knows? Lil Rod might got to peek through that window. He might have turned that cone on that door and seen something crazy. We don't know, bro. You know, a lot of this stuff could have or could not have happened, man. Some of this stuff is far-fetched. I don't think Meek did it. Do y'all think he did it? He's talking, and I don't believe, and they was redacted from that anyway. Right? Usher they, seems like a passionate guy. They were mentioned. When it's going down, it's going down. <laughs> That's no different than them <laughs> niggas saying, we suspects in a, in, a, in a case. They come pick us up, and we, say, we show we were somewhere else. We weren't even in California. All right. Yeah, we was mentioned. We were suspects. Now, they didn't X us out. Mm. You can't put us in the case. Meek and Usher was redacted, so why am I was talking about it? It ain't like it's Cassie saying it. This is a month. This month says Stevie J was in there. It feels hold like on. <laughs> the gay person is, came is out. Is that possible? Said, no, hold on. The dude that was in the video said it wasn't Stevie J. It was me. They, they resemble. So the, when he's looking at whatever video, mm. he thinks it's TV. It's a whole nother mother. Now, mm. Was that a cover up? Did 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 Stevie just have a cover up, or do we believe that was genuinely not him? I ain't gonna lie. This is a cold nigga right here. That bald nigga with the tats on his head, smoking a black. Bro, you a cold individual smoking a black and mild in the interview, dog. That's he straight out off the ghetto. Straight out the ghetto. Will say is me did some old buster ass shit. The nigga go at academics. Yes. Then he hold on. Wait. Asking for his address. Hold on, wait. Hold on. And this declaring is, that he's gonna this pull up. This some buster ass shit right here, and everybody want to select the politic, but I'm gonna say it. Meek said the governor <laughs> yeah. called me and checked me. The mm. governor. I took it down. After I explained to him, the governor, this is the guy, academics, that powered the biggest rap beat that killed some of my friends, and now he's playing undercover. Like he's just telling the governor <laughs> that academics. Man, is that too much info as a gangster? He can't be dropping them dimes, huh? The governor, you know, that's an official law abiding citizen. He works with the law. He's technically a federally. You feel me? That's hey. I guess he rides a good point. I don't know. I think this is a little far fetched. I think this is a moment where Wack is getting petty again, trying to smut his name. What's behind the war is Iraq? Getting killed. What the fuck, me? Listen, bro. Stop doing the gangster Philly tough shit and just be a civilian. It's cool to better your life. Hmm. Philly ain't standing behind that shit. This nigga said the governor called him and checked him. And he told the governor, this is the guy, governor, who powered the war and got people killed. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? By just talking about it on YouTube, too. Like, he, they're acting like he, he sent guns to the hood. 
Like he said, if, if academics were sending crates of Glocks to O Block, then I feel like this argument would make He's sense. He's not supposed to have them conversations mm. with them people. He everybody, was just making YouTube videos talking about murders that, that already happened. got the governor plug. The governor controls the city. Within the city is the Philly PD. Yeah. Now, if your math ain't mathing, that's on you. But do you think the governor just talked to Meek and was like, hey, can you not uh, threaten to pull up and kill academics because it puts Why them in kind of a weird place? Why do they have that kind of relationship? Know? Where they, where they having street conversations. Well, he's like a... I mean, he's doing police reform. Adam, I, I mean, you know, he's doing police reform. Whack 100, he picking at Meek right now, man. I mean, he making valid points, though. Do y'all think Meek should be talking to the governor? Do we care? I mean, he got to have some type of relationship if he's trying to get his reform going and help these people out. Like, what, what side are you on? Are you a civilian or are you street nigga? Since you saying me got to be one or the other. Community activist, police Ooh. reform type dude, right? Who is? Meek, he's trying to play the, the good guy role, right? Then you need to be the conscious rapper. <laughs> I don't know if he's ready for that. He got to be. He willing and dealing with the governor. I just don't like seeing a rapper take aim and act like he's going to do some tough guy shit. And not just like, I'm going to beat you up it's when I see you. It's the second time he did it. But like... I need your address. I'm going to come to your house and do something to you. Like, Meek, be serious. This is the second time he did it. Look where you're he at said, in life. You don't, told, don't do this to yourself. He told what are you six doing? nine he was going to whoop his ass. He was a bitch. Right. Six nine seen him <laughs> and jumped out on him. Right. He started hollering, I'm not going to jail. Then why you say when you see him, you're going to whoop his ass? You mm. tell a nigga when I see him, I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> you let six nine see you. He did say that. He did say that, man. You got to stand on what you say, bro. That's why niggas be talking loose at the lips. It's like, yeah, you supposed to make an example out of out of uh, six nine, bro. But I, I skip both perspectives. Like, what cool points do you get for whooping on a snitch? Uh, or, like, he's not even really active. Like, but... It probably would have hurt his career for real, too. And then it's just like, but you did say you was going to do this, so you can't. He probably, me type of nigga probably be getting angry and say a bunch of shit he really don't mean and then calm down like, man, I'm tripping. But don't tell the world that. In a parking lot and jump out on you, you're supposed to get out. But now yeah. Ak is talking way tougher than yeah, me. Yeah, we ain't with none of that. Now Ak is, the, Ak is looking like we the gangster on Twitter that. right now. Who? Oh. Ak, because like the way he's Ak talking. Ak more gangster than me. Ak is talking crazy to Meek now. Civilian, but they both civilians. Ak <laughs> is a more OG <laughs> civilian than me. I don't just entered in his civilian. Mike just became a civilian. He just became. A <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, man, what y'all think about this, bro? They just clowning, man. The Meek Mill snitch on academics. Y'all let me know, bro. It's Cartier. You in Cartier world. 